doing things the right way leads to big results and longevity, doing the shit you love on your own terms, creating impactful work that feels like play that impacts people you truly give a shit about. The Perspective Podcast is fuel for your mind and creative grind. Each week, we break down the art of healthy hustling, overcoming the inner critic, and growing your creative business. What's going on? You're listening to episode 204 of the Perspective Podcast. I'm your host, Scotty Russell of Perspective Collective, and I want to give you the tools of mindset, motivation, and marketing to blaze your own creative path. At the end of each episode, I plug a listener of the week, so stick around to figure out how you can get a permanent shout out on a future episode. Today kicks off the worldwide public enrollment for the Side Hustlers Coaching Program Spring 2021 Edition. This is round four. If you want to apply to lock in one of these 12 exclusive spots for this 12-week intense program, fill out an application ASAP over at SideHustlersCoaching.com. And if you want more information, stay tuned to the outro of this episode as I'm going to give you a little bit more overview and some more details in terms of like the weekly call setup, um, monthly guest expert calls, as well as like weekly assignments that you'll be getting. Let's move on to today's overview. I got a short and fiery one for you today that's a little bit silly, but I think you're going to dig it. So we all know the story of the turtle and the hare, right? More specifically, how the turtle took his sweet ass time and still won the race. And yes, I know, I know, Scotty, it's technically a tortoise. But in my opinion, turtles are way more fun and way more interesting because I like turtles. Um, uh, that, one of my favorite videos, if you know what I'm talking about, that YouTube video, um, you're from my era. Otherwise, maybe I dated myself a little bit there. But let me quickly make my point. Doesn't Teenage Mutant Ninja Tortoises sound super awkward and super lame. So yeah, turtles, my point exactly. So I'm here today to convince you to embrace your inner turtle. And that's why I'm going to be sharing three benefits of taking the slow and steady turtle pace along your creative path. Then I'll top off this turtle Sunday with some bonus tips. That way we can hasten your pace to more quickly reach the end of your race. So get out of your shell and get ready to soak up these three benefits of a slow and steady turtle grind. But before we get started, today's episode is brought to you by our friends and family over at Garm Company. Garb stands for Graphic Artist Resource Merchant, and it is a boutique-style shop for designer tools, resources, and goods crafted together with some of the most talented designers in the business. Their textures, brushes, fonts, and courses help you achieve that highly desired professional polish while saving you tons of time and not breaking your bank. And P.S., again, I have a set of Procreate brushes on there too called Amalgama, and think of my digital ink brushes on steroids. And you can get those and everything else that they have in the shop by visiting garmcompany.com slash scotty with a Y and using promo code pizza20 to take 20% off your purchase. And this even works on sale items. And one more thing, shout out to Patreon supporters who financially back the show like my family at Iron Bean Coffee Company with as little as your weekly cup of coffee Your support directly helps the show continue to grow, allowing me to invest in the podcast team, equipment, and hosting. So to learn more about how you can back the show and the rewards for pledging, visit patreon.com slash perspective podcast. We couldn't do what we do without you, so thank you. And one final thing, if you found value in this episode, it'd mean the world to me if you took a screenshot or a video of you working this in the background and tag me on Instagram stories so we can connect and I can reshare the love back. As always... Keep an open mind and act on anything that inspires you today. Let's go. Let's get it started by kicking off these benefits. So benefit number one of running this turtle pace at a slow and steady grind on along your creative path. So benefit number one is mindset. In today's society, the turtle is surrounded by hairs. Hairs tend to buy into a lie that there's a hack or a cheat code for overnight viral results. And they believe if they cut corners, they can get instant results to win that race at a faster pace. The mindset of a turtle running this race is everything. And you running your own race in this creative path that you're on, your mindset is everything. Everything happens between the ears, that mental space, waging the war inside your head, that inner critic. It's all on you with the mindset to get to where you want to be. And accepting the slow and steady grind means you've embraced the pursuit of something that's important to you, even though you can't predict what the results of your efforts are going to be. 
It's the ever-evolving transformation process of going from hobbyist to professional, okay? And that's what the slow and steady grind is all about. So the turtle shows up when it's not convenient, yet knows the importance of self-care and rest along the way. The turtle understands that to get what it's always wanted, it has to be willing to change old behaviors and take massive, uncomfortable action. The turtle accepts that failure is a vital part of the process for growth, clarity, and confidence. And the turtle knows that haters, doubters, and naysayers will try to sabotage its spirits. But that shit's just going to repel right off its turtle shell. And the only option in a turtle's mindset is to survive, thrive, and keep pushing forward. So benefit number two of this slow and steady grind is the faith that you're going to start breeding within yourself. So once in a while, it'll appear like hairs find success cutting corners. And this may be true. You know, some hairs are going to find some success cutting corners, but they didn't earn it. But a turtle has faith, whether in religion, the universe guiding it, or just in itself, that if it continues to work towards the results it's seeking, that the results will continue to work their way back toward the turtle. It's all about staying active and open to the signs and omens, letting the turtle know it's on the right path. The faith is extra important when the turtle is in a funk dealing with some type of shitstorm sandwich that's put on its plate. The slow and steady grind means the turtle can stay available for new and unexpected opportunities and relationships to cross its path. The turtle trusts the process and stays the course knowing that its efforts, energy, and time will be worth it in the long run. Okay, you got to have that faith. Benefit number three of the slow and steady grind of being this turtle is the patience you're going to learn over time. Ah, the word patience. This is a rare noun that a hare can hardly comprehend. A turtle knows the power of patience, persistency, and delayed gratification as this is what leads to consistency, momentum, and breakthroughs. <clears throat> the turtle gives itself a permission slip to not have it all figured out overnight. It realizes that good things take time to evolve and grow where it can reap the rewards of its efforts. You can't plant a seed and expect it to grow overnight. It just doesn't happen that way. The slow and steady grind allows the turtle to experience less stress and take more calculated risks outside of their turtle waxing day job. All right, The benefit of leveraging your day job to fuel your dream job, that's what I coach. And most importantly, patience allows the turtle to cultivate killer and insanely impactful relationships along the way. All right, so those are the three benefits, mindset, faith, and patience that you're going to learn and breed within yourself along your slow and steady grind at that turtle pace. So hopefully you're sold on these three big benefits. And now let's pivot our attention and talk about three ways that you can hasten your turtle pace. And I want you to visualize. You're most likely a visual person like me. So in this section, envision a turtle on like one of those motorized scooters uh, that we're going to talk about to hasten that pace. So tip number one to hasten your pace as a turtle running this race is to snack on the right snacks, damn it. So on your creative path, you got to properly fuel up for the long race ahead of you. And that means a lot of snacks. When paralleling this to you and your creative pursuits, you got to be hella intentional in terms of what you're consuming. So let's start with the obvious, but eating like shit and accompanying that with poor sleep, both of those aren't going to provide your body with the proper fuel to excel within your creative work and just life in general. Okay, You're going to be a a shell of yourself. I'm learning that proper self-care starts in the kitchen. Then you can stack it with working out, exercise, meditation, yoga, or any other practice that helps you kick ass in life and business, all right? And get your mind right, that mindset right, and the energy in your life. Another angle in terms of consuming the right snacks is consuming helpful information on important topics, relevant topics. I'm talking about terrific topics that stimulate growth and align with the results you're seeking. So for example, uh, proper consumption in the form of audiobooks, podcasts, courses, webinars, conferences, workshops, etc. You can't complain about the results you're not seeing if you eat like shit and you're always tired, lacking the motivation to do the work that you're supposed to be doing. You can't complain if you're binging TV series or playing video games four plus hours a day instead of putting your efforts and time into something more productive. You can't get mad about the results that you're not seeing if you hang around negative influences. You're hanging around hairs. You're hanging around with 
people who just don't have goals for themselves, okay? You got to surround yourself with like-minded people, which will feed into the next tip I'll talk about next. But basically what I'm trying to say is snack on the right snacks. Be careful about what you're consuming, all right? Especially if you really want to take yourself seriously and go from hobbyist to professional within your creative pursuits. So tip number two to hasten your pace, find your community. I'm big on community in this this podcast. You know, I'm big on community in the content I put out there. Community is everything and it changed my life. It's extremely hard to thrive when you're just rolling solo. I can't stress enough about the power of finding a community of like-minded people, okay? Finding your like-minded freaks that vibe to the same weird freaky shit that you uh, vibe to, you know? So AKA, what I'm trying to say is get yourself a gang of turtles you can cause constructive chaos with. So finding your community. This gives you a safe place to share your work, bounce ideas off one another, uh, get support, you know, have that ride or die support system. And this community also becomes a safe place to seek advice without feeling judged, a place to find accountability and momentum, as well as more importantly, a place to truly understand that you're not alone with whatever demons or struggles or roadblocks that you're currently dealing with. I assure you, whatever you're dealing with right now, I promise you, you're not alone. So P.S., this is why I created the free The Perspective Collective community on Facebook because I know what being isolated feels like and I don't want that shit for anyone, okay? I want to build a safe space that you can find your community and I want you to be a part of this creative community we're building. The family over here is waiting for you. I got this linked up in the show notes too. And quick note to add to this, to finding your community. I want to let you know that a step above community would be some form of mastermind. Generally, these are paid or you're exclusively invited to. If you don't know what a mastermind is, a quick summary is that this is a collective of high-level, hyper-focused souls who regularly meet and have insanely deep, powerful, and impactful conversations with each other. Okay? Mastermind. So tip number three, if you want to go the next step to really hasten your pace and experience rapid transformational growth that hairs could only dream of, then tip number three is to seek out a guide. Guides are the ultimate cheat codes, all right? Hands down. Getting a guide is an ultimate cheat code. So think of them as like a high-powered GPS device outlining instructions, directions, the snacks you should be consuming along the way with whatever race that you're running. And from my personal experience, when I hired my first coach, I saw more results in one year working with her than in my previous five years combined. And three of those five years, I had a community that I was involved in. So it just took things to the next level. More clarity, more confidence, and more direction. So a guide for you in the form of a mentor or a coach is basically someone who's experienced the race that you're running. Okay, You want to attach yourself to someone who's already doing what you want to do or who's already done an accomplishment with high flying colors okay you want to surround yourself and get attached to someone like that and invest in them because that's investing in yourself and the job of a guide a coach or a mentor is to reduce the guesswork to provide direction to ask you the hard questions that really get you thinking in a critical way to deliver empowering support and feedback to say the shit that most people aren't going to say to have those hard conversations with you to help you bypass the hurdles along the way. That's the job of a coach. And they do this all with the motive of helping you tap into the results you're seeking in a more efficient and effective way. I highly, highly, highly recommend seeking out a guide well before you ever think you're ready, whether it's financially or from a mental mindset, because I'll be honest, you're never going to be ready. I wasn't ready to invest in my First coach at all, I didn't think I was ready. I didn't think I have the money. I had to borrow against my tax account. I, I had to do what I my wife wasn't happy about me doing. Like She wasn't comfortable with me doing it, but I realized like it's time to shit or get off the pot. It was the best decision I've ever made. I'm on my third time investing in my coach right now, and wifey's all on board. But I had to believe in myself and act before I was ready and act in the moment where someone else, everyone else, would have thought I was crazy with the amount of money I paid. Now it's nothing, you know. Yes, it can be a scary investment investing in a guide because good coaches aren't cheap, but cheap coaches aren't good. It's like the world of tattoos. But it's well worth every penny for the rapid results you're going to get as opposed to constantly scavenging under every rock in the social media world or in the internet trying to seek out the right information on your own and put it into practice. 
It's way less headaches, way less time. Like I'd rather pay for convenience knowing that I have someone who can give me the steps where I don't have to second guess myself. So personally, I'm a coach who's always going to have a coach, whether it's for my business or for fitness, nutrition, and training. Like I had a coach in that world as well. I want transformative results to grow more quickly in the route and race that I'm running. And I realize it's extremely hard to do this shit on my own. So again, whether I'm your coach or not, just know like that next level of really getting to where you want to be before you think you're ready for it is a guide. And P.S., if you're looking for a coach, stick with me after this episode to learn more about uh, my upcoming coaching program that I feel if you're listening to this podcast, you're probably a perfect fit for. So to summarize, be a turtle. There are tons of benefits to being a turtle, taking the path of the slow and steady grind. The mindset, faith, and patience you'll gain over time are just a few perks that I had the time to talk about today as I crafted this episode. Don't waste your time, your energy, your efforts, and even your hard-earned cheddar cheese cash on investing in these shitty hacks and quacks that promise you um, these quick fixes, you know, the society of hairs that we live in trying to sell you shortcuts, all right? Don't waste your, don't waste your efforts, time, and money into that. You know, do it the right way. Doing things the right way leads to big results and longevity, doing the shit you love on your own terms creating impactful work that feels like play that impacts people you truly give a shit about. That's what it's all about. That's what I'm all about. So be a turtle and keep pushing forward. Peace, family. I hope you enjoyed this fiery little turtle talk session. You can find the full episode information in the form of a blog post if you want to go and read this one containing all links and references in the show notes within your current podcast listening app episode 204, and for real, for real, for real. Let's get serious. If you're looking for a ride-or-die support system, community, and intense coaching all in one, you're going to love the Side Hustlers coaching program. All right, I kept this, I built this with you specifically in mind. I built this what the past self, what I needed. You know, I needed that community, I needed that support system, and I needed a guide at the same time. If this interests you, the next session kicks off soon. As this comes out today, just know March 8th through June 6th is when the spring session kicks off, and I would love to be your coach. This is 12 weeks, 12 students, an extremely safe, vulnerable, empowering, but highly, highly productive setting where I work individually beforehand with each student to create a customized game plan tailored to their biggest struggles and biggest dreams and the results that they're seeking. Then each student comes together with their game plans and we grind as one as a family unit with weekly assignments that are really going to push you to the next level to get those results you want. Weekly hot seat calls, that's where the money is at right there. That's the big investment is the hot seat calls. Monthly guest expert calls lined up. I have F. Dot this time around. I have Lisa Quine as well as Grits and you'll get to access the whole archive of the other calls that I have from like Lauren Hom, Liz Gray, Tom Ross. Uh, James Martin, you'll get access to all of those. And you'll get access to one of these big ass killer perks like getting featured on a freaking episode of the podcast, a two part series that'll be dropping this spring. So you'll get to be on the podcast. And if you want to get a feel for what being on the podcast feels like, more importantly, um, the money part of the program, which is the weekly hot seat calls, go scope out episode 189 and 190. Again, these are going to be linked up in the show notes to get a feel for how intense yet how enlightening these hot seat calls are and what it's going to sound like when you're on the podcast. Trust me, I got your back. I'll get you all set and ready to go so you can shine on the podcast. If you're creatively stuck, if you're fed up with where you're at right now and you refuse to be in the same spot you're at at the end of this year, then this is for you, okay? I want to help you tap into that next level of clarity, confidence, community, and accountability within your creative pursuits with this program. And we're open right now for enrollment, right freaking now. And this is live from February 24th through March 3rd. So shoot me your application ASAP if you feel like you're a good fit over at SideHustlersCoaching.com. Invest in your future self and get the results you want and deserve. Again, that's SideHustlersCoaching.com. And if you're hearing this late, you can still visit this link and sign up for the A-list waitlist as I run this program twice a year, every spring and fall. I hope I get a chance to be your coach. <clears throat> With that being said, if this show has helped you along your creative grind, could you do me a solid and leave a rating or review over at Apple Podcasts or iTunes, as well as whatever podcast app that you're on right now that allows you to leave a review? I can see those now. 
Not only do your reviews and your ratings help the show climb the charts in the art design category, but it staples you in as a future listener of the week. And this week's listener of the week comes from Bear Marquise and from the United States. They kept it super sweet, super short. They titled it, This is going to be a punch in the gut. Scotty's got a place in my heart for sure. He's always on point with his information. Even his pep talk episodes really just hit different. All right, well, there's a creative pep talk out there. Shout out to them. But my pep talks are going to be different. Hopefully, it's just like a fiery, uplifting thing. I don't want to get the two confused. But I'm glad you're finding value in this. And I hope you listening find value in it and find it in your heart to leave a tiny little review like this as well to staple you in as a family member of the podcast. So as I sign off, I want to give a huge shout out to my podcast editor, Anya Brennan, executive assistant, Paige Garland, video specialist, Colton Bacher, social media coordinator, Hannah Schick, and Nick Jenkins of Bluka for all the dope theme music you hear on this show. And as you finish off your week strong, I want to encourage you to keep showing up, keep putting the work, and keep creating. You got this. <laughs>